<laughs> Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about a very famous artist named Hans Holbein the Younger. He was born in Germany over 500 years ago. He was a really talented painter who made portraits of people that look so real, it's like they're alive. But sometimes, the people he painted didn't look very happy or smiled. This might have been because Hans was trying to be extra careful and show what the people really looked like. Hans was the son of a painter, and he had two brothers who were also artists. They all worked together in their family's workshop, and Hans learned a lot about art from his father and brothers. Unfortunately, Hans's personal life was not as successful as his career. He was married, but his marriage was very unhappy. He has four kids, but his wife was very moody and he never had a moment of peace. Don't, Don't forget, forget, as always, to brace yourself for two jokes waiting for you at the end of the video. Join, Join us, a professional artist, Pavla, curious child, and our two cats, as we explore the stories behind some of the world's most famous masterpieces. We flip through the pages of beautifully illustrated books and bring the art to life in a way that's both fun and educational for kids and adults alike. You can even join in and draw along with us in some of our videos. And if you love art as much as we do, give, give us a cat in the comments section. One of Hansa's most famous paintings is called The Ambassadors. It shows two important men standing in a room surrounded by lots of interesting things. They're dressed in fancy clothes and they look important, but there's a secret hiding in the painting too. If you look carefully at the bottom of the painting, you'll see a skull. But here's the thing, you can only see the skull from a certain angle. This is a reminder that even the most important people will someday die. So, even though these two ambassadors were very powerful and important, the painting reminds us that everyone's time on Earth is limited. Isn't that a cool secret to discover? Hans also painted portraits of many famous people, including King Henry VIII of England. King Henry was a very powerful ruler, but Hans showed him with wrinkles and aged spots to show that even the most powerful people are not perfect. A lady with a squirrel and a starling is a captivating portrait. It shows a woman holding a cute squirrel and a funny-looking bird. Holbein was really good at painting people and things so that they look like they're alive, and this painting is no exception. Before, Before we go, go, as always, we have two jokes. Why did the squirrel hold on to the woman's dress? Because, because it, it didn't, didn't want, want to be left, left out of, of the, the picture. picture. <laughs> Why did Holbein paint so many portraits of ambassadors? Because, because he wanted to show everyone that he, that he had, had the ambassador energy skills. skills. That's a wrap on our wild and wacky journey through the amazing world of Hans Holbein the Younger. We hope you had a blast learning about his art and his impact on the Northern Renaissance. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more artistic adventures, because just like Holbein, we too like to have many admirers. If you know any jokes about artists, we would love it if you share them in the comments section below. Cheers.